The more badly you want to get there, the more you will work to dissipate that fog. Mm -hmm. Let's react to Neil deGrasse Tyson giving us some tips for making it through a calculus class. Whatever it took you to get from arithmetic to algebra, what X? What number is it? Well, it could be any number. How can it be any number? It's in the equation. It's got to be a number. This, these are the transitions from arithmetic to algebra. The transition from algebra to calculus is more. That's why it's generally not taught in high school. It's a college thing. I think that if you take a suitably difficult pre-calculus class, then the kind of simplifications, the kind of algebraic simplifications you're going to do in that sufficiently difficult pre-calculus class will be on pair with what you'll have in your calculus class. That being said, I think a problem here is a lot of pre-calculus classes are not sufficiently difficult to really prepare a student to doing the kind of things that they need to do in a calculus class. So I'm handed the calculus book and I open a page in the front cover and there are these equations. And they're using squiggly lines I had never seen before. Half the Greek alphabet is in there. I said, I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling students all the time to reference equations from the front cover of their book. You know, at some point, it's not really worth it to memorize a lot of equations, especially if they're in the front cover of the book. Oh, um, I don't, and I said, I will never learn this. That's what I said, that's what I felt. I said to this, but I need to know this because the universe is speaking this language. Yeah, definitely looking at something like that is super intimidating at first. Also true, the universe is speaking the language of calculus. After the first week of class, took a peek, still nothing. After three weeks and a month, open up the side of the book and say, hey, I know that equation. And then as the weeks went on, it was as though this fog began to dissipate. The more badly you want to get there, the more you will work to dissipate that fog. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to me, and I've invoked that ever since. Yeah. And don't hesitate to ask for help. <laughs> I've tutored people in my life in physics and in math. I've been tutored. This is a great tip. And in fact, I'd like to add that everyone, while they're studying math, finds a place where math gets difficult. But math is vast enough and math is hard enough that if you keep studying math, it's always gonna get hard. So what he's describing is like a grit to, you know, dive into a subject that is difficult and is confusing and not give up. And I think that's perhaps the most important thing to being a successful math student is being willing to work through the confusion.